Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. Last time, we took out Yago Bidipazzi. This time, we're going to help Leonardo make it through the mountain pass so we can go into Flora Lee. Just now we're going to be taking care of the mountain pass in this video. That includes all the treasures and feathers. But, as you can see, there are no treasures that spawn. Before the mission, we got to beat Leonardo. the mission. It's you? What luck! I um, have run into a bit of trouble. Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. What is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. <laughs> but I haven't even told you where I'm going. Well, we're both going to Venice, aren't we? <laughs> you didn't think I'd leave you behind, did you? Venezia, such a beautiful city, so many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! Yeah, so we're being attacked by Borges men. We're going to be doing the first uh, model challenge, essentially. So this is the carriage where we, as Ezio, drive a horse-drawn carriage while being attacked by a bunch of cars. Now, we're going to have to swing our cards side to side to knock people off. Anyone on the ledges can be knocked off if you run into a wall like that, and he just fell. But the best way to knock people off is when they get on top and you kind of just swing the cart side to side and then, uh, they can fall. It doesn't always work, and see, like, I totally ran my carriage into the wall there. He's supposed to fall off, but, uh, like, I didn't. But eventually, uh, I kind of don't let the, I, you know, I don't, I don't do it properly, and this guy comes up to me, and when they do catch up to you, you spam the button. I want to say you lose control of the cart, but I also want to say you also don't lose control of the cart. So, I don't know what happens. I want to say you don't lose control of the cart. Um, this mission isn't too, too bad, I, I want to say. It's okay, fairly quick. Um, this guy has supreme balance, man. I... Yeah, we're going to just tap the button repeatedly. I think he died because of the cutscene. Super funny. And we're going to make it across this bridge uh, before the fire sets in. And I want to say that this is a checkpoint. And now we got to dodge the fire. Uh, which, honestly, isn't as easy as it looks. Uh, I tend to run straight into the fire, especially like around corners like that. Oh, of course, we're still being chased by dudes on horseback. So we still have to knock them off the back of the carriage while dodging our uh, flame arrows. Can be quite obnoxious, honestly. Oh, did that guy fall because I hit the thing? Crazy. Let's try that. I think it worked. Oh, God. Alright, just ram into shit. Fuck. <laughs> Take a little bit of damage to knock people off the horse-drawn carriage. That works great. But the bridge is definitely the halfway point, so uh, we should be near where we're supposed to be going. This guy's about to grab me. So I'm good. Definitely am controlling this while I'm being attacked, so that's pretty good. And let's see if we can knock this guy off the pedestal. There we go, right into the wall. That guy got hit by a wall and was still holding on. He has better grip than Ezio does. That's crazy. I also love that uh, they're still trying to kill me. <laughs> These guards are paid very handsomely. I gotta say. To be doing this kind of shit. Go, Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. 
and catch up with you later. Did he just jump off a horse drawn carriage going nah, move. minimum 20 miles an hour? Crazy. So now these guys are gonna try and kill us, but I have me a fancy fancy curved sword. Don't fall for false open. And uh, I also still have my wrist mounted plate, so they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna all perish very easily. Brutes are not hard at all to take on. I like just taking them on with pin blades like I did with the, the ten brute challenge. So not very difficult at all. Um, I also found that I enjoy fighting people with like my bare hands because you can take their weapons, you can disarm them, and then just instantly kill them. That's also super useful. It's funny how you get like a lot of weapons, but I tend to use like my fists and then blades. Because it's just a little easier to take people. I stabbed that guy right in the dick again, didn't I? Ah! Alright, come on. One of you is gonna, is gonna attack me and I'm gonna steal your weapon. One of you. I hate these awkward moments. Oh, fuck. Alright, I have him. I have him. There we go. And then he should. I'm surprised he didn't die. It's crazy. Are you gonna fist fight me, sir? You're crazy. You're crazy. He was crazy. You saw that shit? I'm gonna take a swing at you. Sir, I stole your weapon. What are you doing? Well, anyway, that does the mission in the Mountain Pass. That is literally the only thing you do here uh, outside of collecting some treasures and some feathers. Uh, the treasures and feathers, they do not spawn until after you finish the mission, and then we get assassin contracts, which we'll be doing in Forley. Uh, in a few episodes from now, actually. We are at about the halfway point of the game. I want to say the next town over, Forley, which is what we're going to be doing in the next video, is after we do all of that, um, I think the next I think the next town, Forley, only has two missions. I think. Because you meet up with Leo... No! Oh, holy shit, is there only one mission in Fortley? And then you come back? In a DLC? Huh. Crazy. Yeah, these, these next two sections, Mountain Pass and Fortley, they're kind of like skippable. And not that they're skippable, but they're more like they're just not that important. Crazy. Crazy. Well, anyway, uh, since we're back at the Mountain Pass, uh, we're going to have to work our way up. And we could go to a uh, art merchant in Forley and buy a treasure map for the mountain pass. Or you could just follow along with me. <laughs> They're really not that uh, difficult to find, honestly. Uh, any, like, small place for the house, there's usually a treasure. Sometimes you'll find a treasure just, like, on the side of the road. They're really not that hard to stumble upon. Like, any area with a house. Well, there's probably a treasure around here. Maybe, like, one or two. So, don't worry. We'll grab them all. Uh, I think there's, like, three feathers here. I want to say. Maybe four. Maybe. I know for a fact there's two, but I, I want to say there's there might be a third one that I'm just not thinking of. <laughs> and then right around this building, there's nothing... Uh, ah, right here's another tree. That's what I was thinking of. There we go. And now we're going to need a horse. So let's find ourselves a, a animal that can pick up our body and uh, ride to the winds. Ooh, I want this one. I'm going to call you Cigar. You look like the ashes of Cigar. That's a pretty cool name. I like that one. Yeah. All right, Sagar, let's go. So we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, riding along hey, hey. for a little while until we make it around the first bend. And I want to say there's a treasure chest around here somewhere. Nope. Not the first bend. It's the second bend. There's there's a bend yeah. that you you go around and you're like, oh, treasure, <laughs> right on the side of the road. 
should be around here somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, after the first bend, or the first few bend, it's like around here. It's just, it's just right on the side of the road. So we get to just speed on down. Yeah! Should be around here somewhere. <laughs> it is... A little ways above, I want to say. Just a little further up. It's literally just on the side of the road. Can't miss it. The big red box. Come on, Cigar. Where, where's the treasure box? I know it's around here somewhere. I can't hop the fence, so... Uh, da -da -da -da. So you could always just buy a treasure map in Forley to find all the treasures. Um, but they're, they're really not that hard to find because, again, they're all in a straight line. They're all, like, around here somewhere. So, like, after the first bend, there should be one. There it is. It's right over here. Next to that rock, I believe. See? It just didn't pop up until you got close to it. There we go. Map says it's right where I left it, but it's it's actually a little further up. And so we're gonna keep going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on swimming, swimming, swimming. Then around the second bend, which is this one that we're currently on, there should be a little house. There it is. And this should have another treasure for us. I think there's two, actually. Uh, one behind this house right around here. And I believe there's one behind, like, a forest, I want to say. There should be two around here. Oh, no, this one's behind the house, too. Okay. Then I'm probably thinking of a different one. Because there's one that's, like, you kind of have to go in the back where there's like a tree oh is it this one yeah yeah it's this one yeah, yeah yeah, right here so there's another one around here somewhere in the back next to some trees and some ruined buildings here it is yeah there are three that's right perfect i can't believe i'm i'm doing this by memory like <laughs> i like skimmed through so i was like there's really nothing for me to cut out here outside of maybe like the travel times but even then like there really isn't much to cut out um so next up there's gonna be a big open field over there and this one's also a little misleading um my map says it's in the big field you can't actually make it to that area if i remember correctly uh i believe that one's just on the side of the road also i would like to say it should be like around here somewhere it's just like yep right there it's right there just on the side of the road <laughs> The map says it's like in that like dark gray area. It's not. It's just right on the side of the road. So don't worry about it. And now we're going to keep going. Next up should be a tower, if I want to say. Oh, wait, no, there's one right at the end of the bridge. So there's a house. Uh, they built this bridge fairly quickly. The bridge that, that burned down while we were helping Leonardo escape. Yeah, that bridge, uh, they built it across from that bridge on the way up the mountain pass is another like little cottage a little hut house thing and there should be a another treasure there should be oh maybe it's not a house okay it's just like hey okay i thought it was like a house <laughs> but there's a treasure over here behind some barrels yep there it is Perfect, perfect. Okay, and then we're going to the tower. So the tower should have a feather and two treasures, I want to say. Maybe it's three. There's one behind the tower, one on top of the tower, a feather. And I think that's it. I want to say that's how many there are. Two treasures and a one on top, one behind, and a feather. So there's the tower. Just gonna take a little detour we're gonna head on up oh you know it could be three actually i think there might be three treasures up here 
Again, doing this based off of memory and like remembering doing this. So uh, the first one's behind the tower. Technically, we could grab this one last because we're going to jump off the tower and then we land on the high. But uh, I mean, fuck it, we're right here. And then uh, the feather should be on this tower too. So here's a treasure right on the thing. And then there's another treasure above the tower. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. So there, it's three treasures and a feather. And the feather is behind the tower. You'll see it when we climb up the tower. <laughs> really can't miss it, honestly. So we're just going to move past there. Nope, okay, I guess not. I, you don't have to climb up the tower all the way, but there's a treasure chest up here. And there should be a feather around here. If we, uh, we gotta look down, I think. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, we didn't have to climb up that, that thing. We, we could just look. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to jump. I didn't mean to jump. That was an accident. No? There's no feather? You sure? Fairly positive, remember there being a feather there. Maybe I'm thinking of Forley. There might be I'm thinking I might be thinking of Forley. <laughs> Alright, well, never mind. I guess it was just two treasures. Again, I'm doing this based off memory. I really don't remember. <laughs> All too too well. I just like vaguely remember Oh, there should be another treasure chest coming up, actually. It's on the side of the road again. Uh around here somewhere, I think. Right? Or am I just going straight to the beginning where, where we met up with Leo? I could have sworn there was another treasure chest on the side of the road. Could have sworn. Like, I feel like there should be another treasure chest around here. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not on the side of the road? Maybe it's on the... Yeah, no, right here. On the side of the road. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, so next to this house, there's a one on the side of the road. And then, uh, and now I believe we should be heading all the way up. Alright, I guess there wasn't any feathers? I could have sworn there was a feather on that tower. Um, oh, I guess there's another one on the side of the road. Okay. I, I guess I didn't remember that one. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's, I think, one treasure right at the beginning. There are really no feathers here? I could have sworn there was a feather on that tower. Could have sworn. Anyway, behind this rock, uh, here is a, another treasure. And then there's one behind the house where we started with Leo. Uh, the one I was showing off in the beginning. Uh, and I was like, there's nothing there. Yeah, it's because the treasures don't spawn uh, until until those, until you do the mission with Leo. I could have sworn there was two feathers. What the fuck? That, you know what? Then I'm probably thinking of Forley because there's, there's like a tower that kind of looked like that one in Forley, and I was probably thinking of that one. I was thinking of, like, a glyph in a tower and a feather. So it might be Forley. I might be thinking of. Well, we'll be taking care of those in, like, the next video. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a treasure right here. And I think there's one behind... Yeah, there's one behind as well. So that's everything in uh, the Mountain Pass. Quite literally everything. Nothing else for us to grab. I, I could have sworn there was a feather, but I guess I was mistaken. And Cigar! Oh, there we go. Cool. Thanks, Cigar. Yeah. And now we're going to just head back to Forley. Don't worry, I'm not going to subject you guys to watching me climb back down the mountain pass a third time. <laughs> so yeah, in the next video, boys, uh, we're going to be going into Forley. And we're going to be doing all the viewpoints. We're going to be doing all the feathers. We're going to be doing all the treasures. Uh, or not all the treasures, but we're going to be doing all the, all the glyphs. I don't I think I split it up. I want to say I did it all in one shot. Or maybe I did split it up and then do the side missions. I don't remember. Because there's a town and then there's the countryside, just like in Tuscany. And I, I feel like I did that again, where I did everything in the town and then did everything on the outside. But I can't recall. I recorded this back in, like, fucking February. <laughs> like, March. It's June. Anyway, see y'all in the next one. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>